Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back once again in the lovely icy waters of Skalaga. And we're going to uh, carry on sailing sort of south here um, towards some more of these undiscovered locations. Uh, I think we might only get another one or two in before we do have to head back to anywhere basically and sell some of our uh, gear and loot. Um, but yeah, we should be making a tidy profit in this episode anyway. It's just finding the actual merchants to be able to sell all the loot is going to be the issue. Where some of them here in Skellige may have replenished their stocks by now, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's like a couple that I can think of that I can check. But, um, yeah. Let's uh, just try and grab the stuff from, the, from these caches first. We have 20 spares, so hopefully there's not more than one, um, whatchamacallit. Um, let's shoot these drowned dead first main priority. Are you little shit? I think we just ran out of split bolts. I hate that noise underwater when you when you when you get hit and you start gurgling water. Seriously. Geralt was not made for for aquatic combat guys. It really wasn't. Right there we go. Right get the stuff that we are so rightfully owed. Um, I said we're not really owed anything, to be honest with you. We're just a fucking witcher right over in Skelliger. I don't think anyone really owes us a single thing. Uh, let's just surface for some breath, and we'll get the last two. And we'll go down again. Oh, that's, that's going to be heavy. Ooh, we, we must be pushing now. Ah, five more. Five more. As long as there's nothing... Ridiculous in this one. Don't you try and sneak up on me. Ah, oh, it's a saddle. I didn't think of a damn saddle. Yeah, because we didn't... Oh, look how, look how many saddles we've got. Holy shit. <laughs> no wonder we're encumbered. We could probably just drop like drop the sad one of the saddles or something like that, because we don't get that much money from them, really, do we? Um, we just drop a racing... Uh, we'll drop that one regular ass saddle, and then I think we can, and um, and that will sit at the bottom of the Skelliger ocean until the end of time. And I think we can all rest very easily, knowing that that is the case, and that we will never ever see that saddle again. Um, okay, so we're gonna hop back in our boat. So I'm gonna try first. First things first, going back to Kemwin because I know there is always a quite reliable blacksmith there. He tended to be quite well off. I might have another little look to see um, if uh, Madman Lugos is here as well, because we couldn't find him last time. I think I might have just forgotten where he was, basically. It has been a little bit of time since uh, Ceres' coronation, so I'm hoping that um, he's maybe returned here. I don't know if that's actually going to be the case or not, but... Let's deal with the merchants first. You looking to buy some? Hopefully, you've got some money on you. You've actually got a decent bit of money. I think I can sell most of my saddles to you. Definitely get rid of the saddles. Saddles are already gone. Uh, now we can offload a bit of weaponry and armor. Just get rid of the little cheap, ex cheap. I was gonna say cheap, expensive stuff. I don't really think that makes sense. Um, yeah, all this stuff. Get rid of it. Yeah, that'll do. I don't think you have anything that I'd want to buy either, so that's fine. Right, it's fairly well. That should be a good bit of... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a very nice chunk of equipment gone. I'm sure there was a blacksmith here in... Um... This, this is Cairn Wynn. Yeah, it is Cairn Wynn. It's just a little bit further up the hill. Why I'm taking this bizarre route up the hill, I don't know, but... Uh... There. I'm doubting more and more that this that this actually is Kerwin. It is, isn't it? Is it? Ke oh, it's Kem Weir. Sorry, Kem Weir. Not Kem Win. Where's Kem Win? 
Have I have I made that place up? I might have made the place up, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, it's perfectly possible. I've gotta just get Roach. Roach, please. Run, Roach. Right, there we go. Uh, armor. There is an armor and a blacksmith, which is probably why I like this place so much. Where they both have, they both have got money. Nice. We are in business, boys. So we'll sell all our armor to the armorer, as as logic would dictate. Then hopefully, with some luck, we we'll get rid of some of our glyphs as well, like. Eh? Oh, just just the lesser ones. Yeah, that's good. Do we really need this many repair kits? Yes, yes we do. Nah, I'll sell the amateur ones. Um, will that do? Repair everything as well? Yeah, we'll repair everything. And then if we deal with the uh, smith. We'll sell all of our swords to him because I believe that gives us max profit. The moon blade. I should probably keep the moon blade. Caroline. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll sell the rest, but I will keep the moon blade because I'm feeling so generous. Uh, so we sell the uh, uh, amateur stuff again. We don't need that many. Um, sell some of the lesser rune stones as well. We've got quite a few of them, which we probably. Don't actually need that was a regular one. What's the Divana? Less is Fardog. Less is Strybog. Less is Marana. Less is Perun. Less is Zoria. Right, I think I, th I think that'll do. We 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 are down to fifty two way, which is really good, and that is with the Moonblade as well. Uh -huh. We just need to stash that somewhere. Uh, I don't think there's a stash in Camwear, is there? No, this, you only really get stashes in like your sort of homeland, I guess. Um, the favor Lady Brand did for our son sure did. Right. Adventure seeker. Fucking hell. Not bad. <laughs> That's brilliant. Yeah. Fucking hell. So I believe Lugos was in a tent. He's not in there. I'm gonna check up here once again, but I, I'm not gonna waste too much time trying to look for him again because it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a waste last time, wasn't it? Like he might be up here now. I don't know, but I'm not. I'm not. Nah, he's 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 nowhere, is he? He's nowhere. The man is lost. Did you say? Did you sit there ask me if it smeared my ass with some? What the fuck is wrong with you? You strange, strange man. Hello, God, doggy. Good, good doggy. Okay. Let's jolly on out of here then. If we go to back to Holmstein's port, we could have actually fast shuttled there as well, just did more in in. We just we just wasted a rush journey. Go back to Holmstein's port. And grab ourselves a boat once again, and then we should be on for our last sort of run of uh, looting. I think in, in here in Skellige. After this, we should probably be focused completely on questing and scavenger hunting, which shouldn't take us too long either, really. Um, right, so we're dealing with these things here. It's an awkward place to start. <sighs> There's not, there's not really a good place to fast travel from, is there? Like, Red Gill's the closest, probably. There's Larvik as well, maybe you could go round. Right, so you tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go from Larvik, and I'm gonna go east to west, then go south, and then I'm gonna go to that, gonna go to that little island just east of Red Gill as well, because apparently there's something interesting there, um, which I would kind of like to uh, know. Why is our boat damaged? 
Was this boat damaged when when we got on it? Or did, did I just not notice that? I'm not sure. It's perfectly possible that I was just completely, just completely devoid of any attention. And I just assumed this boat would be at max capacity. It ain't. It ain't. It, far from it. We're being chased by an echidna. Oh, we do still actually have uh, some split bolts. I wonder if they've refilled with, like a different pack, or whether we just did have some left after all this time. I love how in effect. Oh my god, that was close. It's good, it's good if I checked that, because that, 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 that could have been a disaster if I'd smashed the ship right into that, right into that mound of land. Um. Yeah, it does make me laugh how ineffective the crossbows can put in on more sort of like walking creatures compared to flying ones. It wrecks the flying and, sw and swimming ones as well. Um, just just creatures that w that wander around though, nowhere near as effective. Nowhere near. It does it does like it feels like it feels like it's about five percent of their health damage, and that's not very good at all. Like like I'm guessing it, I'm guessing it, it's not intended to be used against. Um, Sort of uh, ground combat creatures, pretty logically, because you would just go up to them and, and and hit them with your sword. Uh, any anyone with any common sense would. You 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 have two swords. You have signs. You have anything else you want. Oils, bombs. You don't really need to be using a crossbow to uh, fight the land masses. Not. The, that makes you like that makes it sound like you're fighting the earth, the land creatures, I should say. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a nice addition to the game, though, the ability to kind of be able to shoot creatures down, and obviously it makes it makes it makes the uh, swimming a lot more, a, a lot less intimidating. If you had to deal with all those drowners in the water and you had no real way of fighting them, it would be a nightmare. They should kind of have that um, ability there to just kind of give them a quick, a, a quick shot and a quick kill. Smugglers, Kash. So there's a few more drowners in the area, but we hopefully it will provide no to. Ooh, manual aim. I didn't even mean to activate that. But, we did it. Long sword and some trousers. Every every man's real uh, real dream there. All I want is a long sword and some trousers. And then I and then I and then I will be a very happy man. There's some mucknixes among all these drowned dead. It's not completely devoid of um higher level enemies. I can see you trying to sneak up on me. It ain't gonna work. Same with you. There we are. Right, service one more. So I think we've got four, maybe three more um, locations to check out in the waters, and then we can um, we can head uh, head south after that. Oh my god! Yeah, I was having a bit of a seizure over here. Right, uh, sure I've got 65,000 gold as well, that's good. I, I, I am such a hoarder when it comes to gold in games. Like, like, like Skyrim was very, very, is very evident as well. Like, I've got, I've got about 450,000 gold in Skyrim. And, um, yeah, just so much. Uh, more so which I'll never use, but I just like having it. Same with The Witcher. I like having it for any potential eventuality. It's just there. I think the only game that I didn't really hold too much gold was Dragon Age, like the early Dragon Ages, like Dragon Age Origins especially, I don't think gold was that easy to come across. Inquisition and 2, maybe. Two, Inquisition especially, I feel like probably have multiple ways to get, um, get, get hands on some gold. But uh, The Witcher and Skyrim, yeah, I, I am a definite hoarder. I just, I just enjoy the feeling of being rich. It's, it's not a feeling that 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 many people get to have in real life, and uh, video games let you live out your fantasy, don't they? So you know, it's, 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 it's nice. It's nice. Oh 
More saddles. More damn saddles. I'm I'm being saddled with saddles. The 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 sheer irony here. Roach is probably on some bit of land now just laughing at me. And honestly, wouldn't blame her. Wouldn't blame her at all. I I do deserve to be mocked right now. Okay, so we've got these two, these two, and then this one here. Now, then apparently I need to check out this little island. I'm sure it's this island here that we need to just have a little look at. Because uh, apparently there's something on it. I am quite optimistic. Well, I don't, no, I don't think optimistic is the word. I'm quite intrigued to see uh, to see what is on the island. Like, considering the various, uh, the vast amounts of things in Skellige that we've found so far. I'm prepared for pretty much anything at this point. So it's, an, so, it's another, so it's another smuggler's cache here. And another hive of drowners. You know what? I don't actually mind at the moment finding these drowners. I feel like I've fought so many sirens. It's actually kind of nice just just, just, just find, find drowners. Because because at least the drowners are sort of restricted. I, I mean, I don't like it. I don't like it when they do that, but... Like, yeah, at least the drowners are restricted to the water. You know, that they, they, they kind of have to go into the water and just kind of claw at you. Whereas sirens would just fly everywhere in the sky and just be just generally very annoying. Bouncing the scamberson and another saddle. We should have one more. Don't know if it's that one or that one. I think it's this one over here. Yeah, it is. Nice. What's our weight like now? It has gone up a bit. I think we've picked up about 50 items. Um, sorry, about 50 weights worth of items. Is it pounds? Is it is it just fifty pounds? I feel like it's pounds. Fifty pounds of weight. That that seems to be the most logical uh, weight there. I think. I mean, I tell you what. If 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 there's a man out there who can carry just about two hundred and twenty pounds of of equipment on his person and not really feel it feel an issue, fair play. I think if I I think if I tried to pick even if I if I even tried to pick two hundred twenty pounds up with like the with like all all of my body strength, I'd probably collapse. At this, at this point, genuinely, I would probably die. Um, but of course, Geralt is is no mere man. He is a witcher. He's a witcher with many many good powers. Bonjour. Dive down. Need to take a few more, few of these drowners out. Otherwise, we'll, again, we'll, we'll, we'll just get ambushed and slap, slapped. There we go. Any more for any more? I, I think we're safe. Think we're safe for, for, from the drown? Oh no, we're not. No, we're not. I spoke too soon. Now we're safe. I swear, one of those drowners always just 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 keeps on popping up every so often. Like, you know, when you've killed the first like lot of drowners, and then you just you go start looting the chests, and then one of them just appears from somewhere. Are we on like the border of Art Skellig and somewhere else? Because it was it just came with saying Art Skellig. If we like. Breached, breached the, the 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 water border of two um two of the isles. Not sure. Okay, so from here, we need to go to that one there, that one there, and then we have done our last uh, undiscovered location north of the island, and then we have a I think three more down south, and then that is us done. That is us done for the sea exploration, and then we can make, we can properly focus, like I say, on doing some quests because because I, I do definitely still still know at least two we need to do, and that's just quests. We also have the scavenger hunts as well, of which there are many many more we need to tidy up. Um, 
And I do need to keep an eye out for the guy who we uh, untied on the on the beach as well. I'm quite curious about where where uh, where he's going to be. Because um, there is apparently a continuation with him, I just don't know where he is. I'm just going to check very quickly to make sure I'm not missing missing like a mark somewhere which might tell me where he is. Pretty sure not. I feel like if he's going to be anywhere, it's probably going to be on Ard Skellig. That seems to be where obviously most people live. But um, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I feel like it's going to be Ard Skellig somewhere near Kertralder, you know? I feel like, but it's it's just a logical place to assume that he probably end up. But again, I don't know. I'm making assumptions. There are definitely m way more... Um, Cities and towns in Skellige than just than just uh, Kertralder itself. So it's it's just it's just by far the biggest and the most sort of well known I think at this point. Because nobody because not because nobody can tr can tr uh, trust touch the Ancreate family now after their after their ascension. I can't believe that uh, that it was it was Burner wasn't it who uh, who who. Who started the? Uh, who, who, who let the bears in? Sorry, not let the bears in, but they, but they, tur she turned some some of the men in, into bears. Um, she would have gotten away with it if it wasn't for her son. It is incredible to think. It actually really is amazing, amazing to think. Oh, the sirens are back. Well, I guess it can't all be easy. In Skelliger, it feels like you can only have so much peace from the sirens, and that they're eventually they're always going to catch up to you. They will never leave you alone. There we go. Another saddle. Just have the one more left, and another. See, see again. It, it, it's 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 another enemy which just weirdly appeared after we we've, we've uh, started losing. Oh god, we oh god, we are in, we are in trouble. Get up, get up, get up. Ooh, you little shit. That was close. Can you stop dragging my caches everywhere? Can you can you just sit still for a second as well? There we go. Right. Uh, nice, 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 nice. Okay, good stuff. I think that is us done. Might have one more siren. To, yeah, we've got one more siren to deal with. Okie dokes. There we go. Right, I think on that note, guys... on the notes of that big old whale. We're going to end this episode here, so thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have all enjoyed. If you have, then please do like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I shall catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye-bye.